We are now entering the most dramatic threshold in recorded history. The realization that we are not isolated in the universe as a happenstance evolution, but we are a part of a vast family of intelligence called the cosmic cultures that are interconnecting with us. And as we move into a new threshold, we will need to be prepared for the psychological, the sociological, as well as the theological transformation necessary to accept the fact that we are not alone in the universe, we have brothers and sisters. We have a purpose in the higher story of creation. I do know that there are several species of alien visitors, and at least some of them are very interested in helping us find a, a peaceful, productive way to interact with, with them. We need to be prepared for it. We need to get our people on Earth prepared to accept this, and it has been hidden for them for so long that there seem to be at least three or four different species that are visiting us. So I think that there's going to be a reevaluation, a redefining, and yes, spirituality as we define it, and science as we define it will have to change its definitions. But I think if we look back into the ancient past and look forward and ask for wisdom, we will realize that they were always connected. They were always reliant on each other. They always were interconnected and needed each other. And that we, the ignorant two-legged, only divided them for a short time so that we could better understand one small portion of the different aspects that they both offer holistically. Because you're not going to coach people into a dying world. <laughs> you can't coach people to be better at what doesn't work. And I actually believe that Homo sapiens sapiens is giving birth to Homo universalis. And that's good. <laughs> because I don't think it's possible for a self-centered species with this degree of power to survive. It's most important to recognize that evolution is driven by crisis. We are now in a most profound crisis, a crisis affecting our own survival as we see the sixth mass extinction affecting all of the biosphere. The significance of this crisis is it forces us to change the way we live. It doesn't necessarily mean that we will effectively change and so we'll be able to survive because we could make changes that will also lead to our destruction as well. The most important point is that we must make changes and it is our hope and our desire as humans to create those changes that bring back the health of not just human civilization but of Mother Gaia herself. All of us need to make some moment by moment change of our thoughts away from the negativity into the positive thinking of how we can help, how we can share, how we can assist. And I also believe we should have some level of devotion to understanding that there is a divine mind. And that divine mind is waiting for us to awaken, to become closer. And so this is something we have to look at in our evolutionary growth, that we can move into awareness that is so vast and so sublime that we basically feel the love of the greater universe.